guys and welcome back to my channel. I just want to say a huge thank you for the support, love, uh, on my recent video, um, the mental health one. I wasn't in a good state of mind last week, uh, I'm happier now, I, don't, I can't explain it, I can't explain why I'm better, why I'm feeling happier, I just am. Uh, so we're just going to take it as it comes, we're going to punch back, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm going to enjoy what I've, uh, what I've been given um, and I'm a lot happier now so thank you for that. So today uh, we're doing a DIY. This is the first in two DIYs that are going to be released this week. This one is just a simple denim jeans DIY. This can be applied to shorts, to denim jackets, t-shirts as well. You can do this on t-shirts. Um, it's really really simple. Literally all you need is like patches, an iron and a pair of things you want to DIY. So, <laughs> let's get into it, shall we? So guys, for this really simple DIY, this is what you're going to need. A bunch of patches, these are all the iron-on patches, and because I feel really lazy, and not like hand-stitching, literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven patches onto my trousers, I'm, I'm gonna be ironing them on. Um, there are a few that don't iron on, like this one is the only one that doesn't iron on. I'll be hand sewing there. I'll be hand sewing all of these in the end. But for the purposes of this video, for now, I'm going to be ironing them on. And some safety pins as well. Um, and also just a pair of plain black jeans. These used to be a um, used to be a wider cut jean. I just took them in um, and I just dressed the edges. You're also going to need an iron because these are iron on patches. Um, and maybe a needle and a thread if you choose to sew them on. I'm going to my boyfriend's house later today. Um, and sometimes I just like to do some sewing when I'm up there, so I'll probably be hand sewing these on there. But um, I'm going to spread these jeans out and then we can arrange how we'd like our patches to get. I'll also have links down below where I get all these patches from. I know there's like a, a real load here. So. so these are all the patches I have. I have some larger ones like this moth skull one, then this unicorn one, and this spider web one, and the kiss of perch one, and the butterfly, and a... Richard Adams quote, and a planchette, and a fish, and a cat, and a cassette, and a widget board. Um, but I really like the idea of having this little spider web just, uh, just down here. So I'm just going to take a safety pin, and I'm just going to pin that there. You can also use regular pins, but um, I don't actually have any reason why I'm not using them, but I just didn't want to. And I think I'm going to go put the moth patch maybe under the knee. You know what, I might start on the other side actually. If we get both sides laid out, I think that would be beneficial. So I kind of ended up going with a different pattern, I kind of went the asymmetric route. And then on the back, I kind of played around with different ideas, I used the butterfly patch right up near the waistband, I'm hoping that the belt won't dislodge that. Um, and I also put a patch on the booty pocket, and I think because there's not a patch on, which leg is it? There's not a patch on this leg, I might put the cassette tape there. Please tell me that's the way around. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put the cassette tape there and then I'm gonna take it to my iron and I'm going to iron this in place. So when you are ironing, you wanna take like an old t-shirt or just a thin cotton t-shirt or something so you don't get direct contact with the patch and just cover the patch fully with it. Take out your safety pin as well, put that somewhere safe. Um, make sure you have it positioned exactly where you want it. And then take your iron, so it's hot, and just hold it down on your patch. Just also move it around a little bit because you want to burn the material you have on top. I'm not sure if people use steam or if they don't, I always like to use steam. It's probably why uh, patches never stick, but this is just, for me this is just a temporary base so I can um, sew it on. But if you are doing this like, this is how you're going to do it, you're not going to sew it on or anything. Uh, don't use steam, maybe, but that was actually pretty quick. That's actually already done. So don't actually pick your patch, let it like cool down and then it should be pretty firmly on there. I'm gonna do this for the rest of my jeans. If you are gonna be washing these a lot, so if it's a pair of trousers or something that needs to require, that will require a lot of washing, I would suggest hand sewing, but if it's just a denim jacket, you don't actually need to wash all that often. It should be okay with just the glue. Um, and I hope you like this DIY. I hope you found it informative, helpful. I mean, I know it was really, really simple. It wasn't anything too difficult. 
but it was still fun to do. Uh, so stay safe, stay dark, we have a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys um, in the next DIY that I'm literally just filmed. Bye!